Super glue. Check. Ketchup and mustard right here. Moldy dog food, check. 80 year old shampoo, check. Blueberry fruit preserves, check. Expired milk, check. Peanut butter, check. And hair removal cream, check. Well, that's everything. This is gonna be so hilarious. To be honest, I really don't care if Megan can free from the peanut butter or if she goes completely bald or whatever. She should have been more careful not to get in my way. After my little surprise, I won't have any worries because Megan will be so upset. She'd want to leave the school and move somewhere else. Happy when she first gets here? Sad when she's an ugly mess. She has no idea how scary I can be. Who's gonna be mucky and clueless? Megan! <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi. This is Jake. I'm on my way to make its place right now. Oh, that's good. So, wait, what exactly do you have planned? Well, what's gonna happen is, so, I'm gonna tell a bodyguard to put Megan in the VIP lounge, and then I'm gonna announce that there's a special guest coming, and so I bring Megan on stage, and then I pull a rope that's attached to a bucket that will pour super glue, ketchup, moldy dog food, 80 year old shampoo, hair removal cream, blueberry fruit preserves, expired milk, and peanut butter all over her. What's the peanut butter for exactly? Megan is extremely highly allergic. Oh my dog, are you crazy? That could kill her! <laughs> like, I give a tail. You are the most heartless, most vain, and most vicious girl on the planet. You are a she-devil! Like, that wasn't obvious a long time ago. You know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna call Megan, and I'm gonna tell her everything. If you turn down on me, I will make copies of the picture of you dressed as a girl, and I will post them all around school. And you know what that's gonna do? Well, it's gonna ruin your reputation, and the football team will kick you off, and everyone will think, including Megan, you're you-know-what. You don't want that to happen, do you? No. Yeah, I thought so. If I were you, I would keep my mouth shut and do exactly what I've been told. And one more thing, make sure to bring Megan here at 8 o'clock. Exactly. Bye! Well, people are starting to arrive. Looks like I have a party to attend. No, Megan's about to get hurt seriously badly, and I'm the servant for it. What should I do? Maybe I can figure out a way for it to not happen. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hi. Um, ready to go? Ready as I'll ever be. So, Megan, you look nice. Uh, thanks. Well, well, well. Megan is almost here. This is gonna be so cool. I'm thinking about posting it on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, whatever, dummy. Who are you calling a dummy? Not you, that's for sure. Oh, you're gonna get it big time, bluesy. <laughs> the LA Country Club? Isn't this the same place Michaela had her sweet 17 and, and spilled chocolate gunk on me? Yeah, but don't worry, nothing will happen. I hope. <laughs> wow. I'll go get us the table. Megan's here, right? Yeah. Oh, good. Um, I'm on the list. 
I know. Come with me. Where are we going exactly? Just been informed to put you in the VIP lounge. VIP lounge? Sweet! What the fur is all of this stuff? down and look up here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, as said in your invite tags, tweets, inbox, etc., that there's going to be a special guest joining us tonight. Now, get your cameras and phones out and please give a round of applause for Megan Kelly. <laughs> please don't tell me. Now, Megan, I have a special surprise for you. Oh, by the way, audience, this is the time when you get your cameras and phones out, by the way. Please don't tell me. Oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna. You'll find out when it's all over you. Oh, no. Megan, watch out! Huh? Having giant cupcakes. Mmm, <laughs> key lime, my favorite. <sighs> what just happened? Megan, I swear, I can explain everything. I'm sure you can. That you lied to me? I trusted you, Jake. Party now. Something embarrassing and very, very painful always happens to me. I'll be looking forward to going to graduation, have deadly chemicals poured all over my cap and gown in front of everyone. You can at least thank me for saving you from being covered in hair removal gunk, super glue, blueberry fruit preserves, and peanut butter, etc. You have to listen to me, Megan. I love you, and I would never let anything hurt you. If it weren't for me, you would have been on stage, bald, stained dirty, and covered in red hives and probably not breathing. Wow, Jake, but if you knew all this was going to happen, then why'd you take me to this party? Come with me. There's too many people here. Okay, so now that we are away from publicity, I think I should probably tell you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Michaela had this really vicious plan, and what she was going to do was, she was going to bring you on stage, and then she was going to pull a rope attached to a bucket that was filled with ketchup, mustard, super glue, moldy dog food, 80-year-old shampoo, blueberry fruit preserves, hair removal cream, and peanut butter. Is she insane? Apparently so. She, so she was gonna pour the gunk on you in front of everyone with their cameras and phones out. So however, she wanted this plan to take place at this dinner party and she knew if she invited you in person that you would obviously be suspicious and not go, which will spoil the plan. So she asked me to do it. But why did you? Well, Michaela blackmailed me pretty badly. 
What was the blackmail? Well, she said if I didn't go along with her scheme, she would make copies of this picture of me dressed as a girl. She took a picture of back in 11th grade and posted them all over the school. She knew by doing that, it would ruin my reputation and the football team would kick me off because everyone would think I'm you know what. That's awful. I know, but luckily, you're not bald or covered in red hives. Well then, I really should thank you then. <laughs> yeah, so what do you want to do? You want to go back in there? I don't think so. I'm afraid Michaela might have something else in mind. Uh, do you want to go home? Oh yes. I cannot believe this. I had everything all set, but Jake ruined it. Good thing I have a plan B that doesn't involve Jake being there to rescue Megan. Plan B? Yeah, didn't I tell you I had a surprise plan B we could do in case our curve plan didn't backfire? Oh, right. What is your plan B? Oh, let's get involved some of the same things. And a little bit different things, too. In this one, it's gonna be done a little differently. This other one will be far worse than this one. <gasps> you may be safe for now, but trust me, I will really hurt you. And Jake won't be there to protect you that time. You better watch out, Megan. <laughs>